I am here doing the move-in inspection at 4228 Pepperdine in Decatur, Georgia. Um, aren't many things in this property here that need to be noted for the move-in inspection. Just want to give you a general idea of what the front yard looks like. Okay. Um, as you enter the the home, there is a formal living room to your left and a coat closet to your right. Start off by showing you the coat closet here. This is a nice, uh, solid home. Uh, as you can see, there are burglar bars on the exterior of all windows and doors. Um, this room does not have a light fixture or ceiling fan. Um, the painting here looks great. If you go through the formal living room, you enter into the formal dining area uh, that has a lamp hanging. Also, the paint in this area looks great as well. Um, if you walk through the formal dining room, you enter into the kitchen. And to the left is the stove. All the appliances in the kitchen are white. Uh, along with white cabinets. Dishwasher here. Let's oh, take a look inside and see what it looks like on the inside. Looks pretty clean. Looks very clean. Also, the stove is clean. Gas stove. Oh, it's brand new, actually. Um, and also, the refrigerator is new. Um, you can see the manual inside as well. Just give you an idea of what the kitchen looks like. Um, off to the kitchen is what I would consider a family room or informal living room. Just want to show you the backyard um, off the kitchen. There is a back deck. You can uh, step off here and access the backyard. Now, uh, these railings have not been treated at all. And it's just the naked wood here. As you can see, those burglar bars on each window on the back, on the lower level, in the door. I just want to bring to your attention the upper windows do not have. Uh, burglar bars on them. Also, I do want to take note that the gutters on the back of the home are full. We may want to go ahead and address that. But this is just to give you an idea of what the backyard looks like. Um, back inside the home, you'll notice there is some areas where touch paint was done. It doesn't quite match, so I want to notate that. It's just leading in town into the uh, informal living area or family room. The fireplace still has some ashes and would need to be cleaned. Other than uh, the touch-up paint leading uh, down the stairs and by the door leading into the garage, the paint inside this home, especially on the lower level, looks pretty good. If you take the door from the family room, um, it will lead you into the laundry area. This has a uh, place for your washer and dryer. Also, the team that did the rehab left some paint, interior paint in here. Um, I do want to bring you into the downstairs bathroom it is dirty I do want to note that but I just wanted to get a glimpse of what the bathroom looked like the 
a shower rod also in this pepper. Um, if you exit this door from the family room and to your right, you'll come to the door leading into the garage. Spacious garage. Also, the uh, hot water heater and furnace is in a closet in the garage. Just want to get a look in there so you'll see what that area looks like. You'll notice that the garage door is up now. Um, I just wanted to demonstrate that it is working. The garage door is working. There are no remotes. I was not able to find a remote to the garage area. Also, I just want to make mention of the area you can see behind this garage door uh, leading into the garage. There is some marks there where the door has hit that wall several times. Make mention of the craftsmanship for the steps coming down the uh, into the informal living area. Okay, we're back to the main entrance. You'll see that some touch-up paint was done there. Um, and we're going to head up the stairs uh, where there are, I believe, four bedrooms. The carpet upstairs looks great. Um, do want to bring that to your attention. It looks like new carpet in here. I'm going to start off with the first room on my left-hand side. You'll see the smoke detector is installed in each bedroom and there would be the closet for this bedroom just to the right of the door entering the room I'm going to exit this room and go directly across the hall into another secondary bedroom there are a couple paint spots here and along the baseboard, you'll see some as well. There's a closet behind the entry door to this secondary bedroom. If you exit and go to the right, the first door on your right will be a hall bath. Um, this... Vanity and mirror is very dirty, extremely dirty, uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick view of what the uh, the hall bathroom looked like. I'm noticing that this faucet continues to drip, and also the tub has marks and is dirty also. Okay, as we exit the hall bath, I'm going to make another right. And we're into another secondary bedroom. You'll notice the smoke detector there as well. There's their outlets. The screens are in great condition in this property. There's the closet for the third hall bedroom. Now I'm going to exit that room and go to the right. We're entering the, the master, master bedroom. Once again, you'll notice the uh, smoke detector is installed. There's the light working there. And there's the closet for the master bedroom and the second door would be the bathroom the master bathroom there are some marks and just dirt on the uh, master vanity 
Also some chips in the porcelain. Just want to notate that. There is a window in this bathroom as well. I'm going to exit out of the master bedroom and walk you back down the upstairs hallway. As you'll see how we got here. We're going back to the front door and this will conclude the move-in video.